At one point in time, Manchester United were the greatest club in the world. They had the greatest manager in the world, greatest trophy cabinet, greatest players, and even arguably one of the greatest fan bases in the world. But now, they're quite the opposite. They hardly win any trophies, a large number of their players are substandard compared to their rivals best players, many players involved in controversy and scandals, and their fan base are always in uproar towards their owners. But just what happened? It all started when Sir Alex left the club, possibly one of the greatest managers in Premier League history. He nurtured the squad and developed players and turned them into superstars. He was the consistency king, winning Premier League after Premier League, dominating English and world football. He even found some of the soon-to-be greatest players in the world and gave them a platform to express themselves to reach their full potential. Exhibit A. But now, we take a look at Manchester United and they're in ruin. They've gone through eight managers since Alex Ferguson left, and they've completely lost their legacy and respect from football fans across the world. They haven't won a Premier League title in 10 years, and since he left the club, they've experienced some incredible situations that every fan never wishes upon their team. Countless thrashings, scandals from many superstar players, riots, and even breaking transfer records just for players that even the fans despise. Since he left the club, there's been a clear toxic environment. But just why? It all started when David Moyes took over. He could not keep up with the incredibly high standards of Man United. And in his first season, they finished seventh. The worst finish for Man United in many, many years. People say it's because he could not keep the team happy and the players did not like playing his way. So after just under 12 months in charge, Moyes departed from Man United. After Ryan Giggs took over for four games, a new man was in charge, Louis van Gaal. Man United fans were buzzing with this appointment, and they were optimistic with Gaal at the wheel due to his possession-based style of football and ability to allow his team to control the ball throughout the game. With a half-decent squad including Depay, Ander Herrera, and Di Maria, they finished fourth in the Premier League, gaining a spot in the Champions League. The following season, they finished fifth losing out on the Champions League. However, he did manage to win an FA Cup. Despite his slight success, his team were deemed to have no flair and classed as boring. The fans with their high standards were not happy, and this resulted in Van Gaal's departure from Man United. The years that followed were a lot more positive and hopeful for Man United due to their appointment of Jose Mourinho, the special one. If anyone could bring Man United back to their glory, it would be him thought Man United fans. In his two year stint at the club, he won three trophies, the League Club, the Europa League and the Community Shield. Mourinho attracted high profile players like Paul Pogba, Lukaku, Zlatan and Matic. Things were looking positive for Man United. They even managed to finish second in Jose's second season for them, which is a huge improvement since Sir Alex left. Weirdly and unexpectedly, after their decent season, he was sacked. Whether this was due to player falling outs or just general disappointment, despite winning three trophies, he had to go. I think if he would have had stayed, he could have done amazing things for Man United and took them even further. He is one of the greatest managers in the world. Next, we have probably their most notable manager since Alex left, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. After beating PSG in a Champions League, Ole gained instant respect from Man United fans and finishing second again in the league. Things were supposed to be on the up. The Ole era brought the rise of Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. I think Ole did a decent job, but due to lack of respect by the fans and the owners, not being impressed by his lack of silverware, he was sacked. He was regarded as a PE teacher from fans. Ole was replaced by Ralph Ragnick. The United fans were excited, but due to his lack of results and many thumpings, he was quickly dismissed. He was replaced by Eric Ten Hag, the current Man United manager. He has high praise in world football, previously managing great talent at Ajax and being known for his tactical acumen. People were very excited for Ten Hag to come in, as they thought he would bring in a new mindset to the club and be able to bring in a system that would allow players to flourish in the squad. He brought in Anthony, Casemiro, Lissandro Martinez. Ten Hag came and brought his tactical prowess, but this also came with a side order of controversy. 
In his time, he's had multiple controversial situations, including Ronaldo's famous Piers Morgan interview, the Mason Greenwood situation, and more recently, the Anthony situation, and the Sancho situation. All these controversies appear heavily in the media, and it seems like there's a new story every week. After Ronaldo left, Man United were thumped by Brighton and Brentford with two embarrassing scorelines. Things were tiring for Man United fans, as they hardly ever witnessed good football, and week in week out, they dreaded watching their team, as a heavy scoreline always seemed on the horizon. After Ten Hag has been able to make a few signings of his own, things are looking a bit better for Man United, and they do seem like they have a path back to the top. Only winning the League Cup for Manchester United, they currently are hungry, and with Ten Hag's new philosophy at the club, it's looking like they could win some more. Ronaldo walked out of games twice, and Garnacho has been criticized for his professionalism. If Ten Hag can keep his players in check, I think they can flourish as a team. But if not, I think it won't be long before yet we see another manager at Man United. God knows what's happening at Man United. That club is run so strange by the Glazers. Will they sell the club? We know it's up for sale. You guys let me know what you think about Man United, and where do you see them in the next five years. But apart from that, that's all I have this week. I hope you enjoyed, but for now it's been the Football Cave, and I'll see you in the next one.